Hey guys, today we are going to talk about looks like nine cards that have recently gone up in price. We will start with this one. Always an interesting speculation as it could be unbanned and if it is unbanned it hits $10 overnight. At least for a few hours or maybe a day or two. So Bloodbraid Elf reprinted in Eternal Masters. I picked up two of them recently, not just by design, but whenever I'm trying to get to the $25 so I get some uh, shipping, I will just uh, order either Bloodbraid Elves. I used to always order Falias, but now Falias are like $10, $15, and they don't, you know, it couldn't be used for the same purpose that I now use Bloodbraid Elves. Good card, reprinted a bunch of times, so they should be easy to trade for, they should be easy to buy. Uh, overall, it is a fantastic speculation. If you're willing to gamble, it's going to be on banned, which 50-50 in my opinion. So next, uh, this was the big baddie. So it doesn't cost double black, it costs two double black for a 5-5 five five that deals one damage to you each turn during your upkeep. This was considered one of the strongest cards in Magic at the time. I never owned it. I never saw one. I did play during Arabian Nights, and that's why I have so much bulk. I don't... It was always expensive. It was always considered good. And even after we got today's modern cards, it was a iconic Magic creature. And surprisingly enough, the creature I remember most, and it was on like a jacket, it was the logo for Magic Gathering in their headquarters, was the Horlon Minotaur. I don't know what ever happened to that card, it just dropped off the face of the planet, right? Poor Minotaur. But it was those two, it was um, that card, this card, and then the Minotaur. Alright, Spirit Link, which I own like, I would estimate... 100 copies of this card as a common from Legends has outproduced, outdone anything MTG Finance. I mean, just I made a comment about how collectors are being rewarded for cards that they couldn't sell, and that's truly what it is. A, if you're interested on flipping cards, you would never buy this stuff, like, you would never have this card. This card is impossible to flip until recently. It is very low value and you're bulking it out. This is a card that you would sell for bulk. Now, it's not bulk anymore. It's $14. The question is who has all these cards? And the answer is collectors. I've always loved the picture and I've always thought that it was a beautiful artwork and I like animals and the overall set I, I like enjoyed quite a bit. Now, going on to cards that are semi-pimp, we have the Urza Towers. Urza Towers is probably the best one because out of the tower, the mine, and the other one, it produces free instead of two. So the tower will be a little bit more expensive percentage-wise than the other two. These things are, no matter how many times they reprint this card, and it has been reprinted a bunch of times, and there's many, many copies of this card out there, the originals will always be the originals. And they will always be valuable. I'm surprised it's only $8, to be honest. It should be more. And it will be more. If Spirit Link can be a $14 card, like... <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, it doesn't make any sense. This should be more than Spirit Link, right? At the very least. But regardless... Uh, collectors who ha have a lot of these, I have a bunch of these as well. I will talk about another Bloodbraid Elf, and it is this artwork. I think this is the most beautiful artwork, uh, one of the best pieces of artwork in Magic. I would put Falia to this one probably at 4, and Malera at like 10. So the, out of the cards I speculate on, those are my main speculations, right? And Folly has been... It would not surprise... I, at GP Houston, which is in January, end of January, I may sell my whole entire Folly collection that or has not been altered. I'll keep a few copies so I can give to my artists and commission them for artwork. But the price is just too much, right? The price is too much. Um, at some point in time, I want to invest in something else. And Bloodbraid Elf, especially this artwork, appeals to me. It appeals me 
a lot. All right, so we have the mine, the Urza mine, which is six dollars and not nine. Well, I guess it's seven. Let's round to seven, and then let's say the tower is nine. It's interesting. This is a very good deck in modern. I don't see the deck going anywhere. I don't see these cards going anywhere in the deck because it's so vital for that type of strategy is to get your. It used to be to get Karn liberated on turn three, right? Just get them, get the land out and go with a bank. But I've seen all types of strategies now with using the Urza lands. And no matter how many times it's going to be reprinted, this will be expensive. Uh, this will be, it should be over $10 in my opinion. It's a, I mean, it's the original version of a card being played in modern. Old version, nonetheless. So anyway, let's uh, move on to something a little different, um, and it is the Pirates. So the Pirates spiked to 17, and then it, you can see the chart. It's going up, down, up, down, up, down, but I am impressed that it's still $8. You could not pay someone to take this from you <laughs> during Macadian Mask. No one had a Pirate deck. There was only like three Pirates in the set, one at Uncommon, one at Common, and one this one. And even the Common one's worth a few dollars. I get it. Pirates are cool. No, and the ability is not like the worst ability that you could possibly ask. But if you play during Macadian Mask, this is not a card you put in your binder. And now this is a card today you can take out of bulk and somebody will want it casually. Es essentially, you can now trade a card. Many years later, there's finally demand for a card like this. And that's why I like old bulk is you have no idea what the next set will be. Pirates, dinosaurs, I don't know. Like what, what will the core set bring? Something that maybe a combo? Meddling Mage, which <laughs> I own lots of this dude. Because again, you couldn't get rid of it, but I don't own this artwork. Maybe I own one or two of this artwork, but I own most of the reprint. I forget, Charge of Alara. Because the reprint, I thought the artwork was better. It is spiking like crazy. It it um it is a wizard. It is currently seeing more play in the eternal formats, legacy in particular. It does answer some cards, one card in particular. And overall, I like it. I like the fact that you can have old cards that you enjoyed when you this card, when it was printed in Plane Shift, was one of the better cards. It was one of the more valuable cards. So I've had fond memories of it because I did play. I never had a playset of them, but I did play one or two of them because that's all I could afford. All right, the biggest spike of the week is Ancient Zygote. And this comes from a deck called Five Color Humans that really p plays only humans. I think it plays humans and then path to exile and modern. So it is a modern deck and it has just gone whoop to the so champion in Paris. A lot of these other cards have gone up, but not to the extent this one has because the deck relies on this card quite a bit. I love it. You know, this is something that has been reprinted. It is in the foil. There's a foil version in the sliver deck, which looks better and better every day. Uh, that deck, if you can find it at Kmart, if you can find it, I mean, I don't know, you probably can't find it in a while, it's been so long, check Kmart. Like, if I had to guess a place, if I had to, like, put money on a place that has old magic cards, it would be Kmart. Just because when you go to Kmart, it feels like you're back to the 1990s. <laughs> They're stocking just things that, like, I remember when I was, like, 10 years old. They had the same, like... Uh, plastic swimming pool that no one wants anymore because you can buy better stuff than that. They're the same like crappy lawn long chairs, Marfa Sturt, um, all of this stuff that like in 1990s that we had. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below. Oh, who was that? Kathleen Ireland? Like, they still have that. Like, it's crazy, right? Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.